Now, Music Master might be one of the newer players on the scene. He is one of the younger players here today, but I have not seen someone practice as much as Music Master. He's a very dedicated violin and piano player, and he says that helps him play better Clash Royale, helps him see the game as it unfolds and make predictions before his opponent plays, just like you know what's coming next in your piano. Ah, song. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, the, I think that's something that Yao Yao could definitely impress us with here is if he's able to create a deck that can uh, go the distance. We've seen a lot of standard play so far of decks that are relatively familiar. Yao Yao got that first place at King's Cup because he was able to bring a completely new deck. He basically oh, no. invented the Golem Lumberjack uh, combo, but wow, a super aggressive play here from Yao Yao playing that Golem really early on. He's going to get punished hard as the Cannon Cart locks that right side tower, getting over a thousand damage. Now, you might have noticed a small little spell happen on that cannon card. Zap, the two-cost spell, will stun the target. When a target is stunned, frozen, or even knocked back, it'll retarget oh. on a new thing. The miner was wow. next to it, so it turns onto the miner. What is that flying thing over there, Ramham? That is a flying machine, one of the newest cards added to Clash Royale. Four-cost flyer. It's got about the damage of a dark goblin, about the health of two dark goblins. <laughs> And it flies, so if you uh, are able to only hit ground troops, you're out of luck. It does go down to Fireball or Poison, though, so it has a little bit of weakness in that regard. But it got great value against that Mega Minion there, and holding strong in the center. Music Master doesn't have a whole lot to worry about. He's sieging his opponent now with Fire Spirits from this Furnace and Dark go uh, excuse me, uh, Spear Goblins from the Goblin Hut out back. Just getting reliable chip damage every once in a while, not relying on a big push the way that Yayo is. And for our veteran Clash Royale players in the audience, they might be getting excited because we were hoping that the players would bring new and interesting decks we've never seen before. If you've watched a lot of Clash Royale tournaments, you know that Music Master is playing something, well, I've never seen it before, have you, Woody? <laughs> this I is sure a wild not. deck. Two spawners, Goblin Hut creates the Spear Goblins that will attack the tower. You mentioned the Furnace has the Fire Spirits that attack the Whoa. tower. Whoa, Mega Knight going in the opposite lane, trying to punish with the flying machine behind it picking off the Mega Minion. This oh. might be a tower on the left side. Splitting his attack up, a great strategy by Music Master. A bit of a gambit, though. You need to get a tower wow. down. You don't need to get it low. But with that me Mega Knight, Mega Damage off the left side, lock off of the flying machine means that thing goes down and Yayo's in a lot of trouble. This tower is gone down in 32 seconds to go with the double buildings and the cannon card. I don't know if Yao Yao's golem deck is going to be able to get through. Music Master, he qualified for the first time in the fall season. He is so close to winning his first match in the World Finals. He just needs to hold on for another 17, 16, 15 he's seconds. He's got it. Yao Yao gets the thumbs up. He knows he's out. Music Master has destroyed this golem deck, tearing it apart. An avalanche galling down on the blue side as the flying machine pops that lock and drops it down. 2-0 victory for Music Master. 2-1 in the match overall. And Music Master advances to the quarterfinals of the first Clash Royale World Championship.